tick tock tick tock it was the season of winter 5 o'clock early morning with wind flowing around my soft twitcher my soft skin i mean <laughs> when i heard this voice and i was covered with a lustrous sheet of warm blanket sleeping and i heard this voice nitin wake up time is precious don't waste it sleeping i'm not sleeping just meditating <laughs> the voice which i heard and you all heard was of the tallest and the broadest alarm clock in the world <laughs> with no snooze button <laughs> my dad have you all ever meditated in this form and someone tried to wake you up <laughs> good morning toastmasters and guests good morning, good morning. Good morning. This happened in class 10 when all the teachers of my school or private tuitions left me as my level of intelligence or IQ went so high that they all surrendered making my dad my teacher my guru as he became my guru in class 10 he started to tell me this thing every time beta study well in class 10 work very hard and your life will be settled as i'm still wondering 7 years after giving class 10 <laughs> when will my life be settled <laughs> as one day when i was studying and roaming around my father was sitting in front of me i was seeing towards the balcony and it struck me dad i want to study facing the wall you know sitting towards the balcony and seeing is distracting me you know and time is precious i don't want to waste it seeing the balcony he went in a state of shock <laughs> having chest filled with pride he said go sit near the wall and study as i went across studying studying seeing the depth of the yellow painted wall <laughs> <laughs> He stormed like a hurricane, came towards me and growled ferociously, "Stand up and do the third degree formula right now." <laughs> now you all might be wondering what the third degree formula is. Ah, uh, this is what I did for 15 minutes, and he said, "I am really angry with you." And with me, what did he do to upset you? <laughs> What did I do to upset you? Why are you angry with me? I'm doing the punishment properly. Please leave right now, this very minute, and study on your own from now onwards. With just ten days left in the examination of class ten, he left a note covered in a white envelope, and I opened it, and it read the following: Time is precious. Three months down the line, after giving my exams, the results came out, and I scored seventy-nine percent, which was good for me. And I went towards ad getting admission in Saint Lawrence High School, and waiting curiously and eagerly for the admission list to come out. List one announced: Ah, uh, Nitin Jain, Nitin Jain, Nitin Jain. Not there. List two, it will be there. All is well. All is well. <laughs> Nitin Jain, Nitin Jain. Not the list three twenty students to be taken. List three announced. Nitin Jain, no, not there. As I went ahead, I saw a senior Rahul and asked him eagerly, "Brother, is there a list four too? I'm getting short by two marks only." And he said, "Is your father a trustee? Go to another school. It won't happen this time." As I was walking along the pavement of that beautiful school, and a huge play playground coming across, I saw a poster lying around, which had the heading "Time is precious," and read the following: Imagine there is a bank account that credits your account with rupees eighty-six thousand four hundred. This amount is given to you for a single day. For 24 hours, 
It carries no overdraft. It carries no balance around. This bank deletes the amount whichever is not utilized. This bank is with all of us. Each of us present in this room. Each of us humans who are around in this world have such a bank which deposits within us 86,400 seconds per day. This bank that we all possess is time. Every morning, it credits our account with 86,400 seconds. Every night, it drafts out or burns out the remains of the balance that we fail to use. Every night, it removes the trashes that we have failed to utilize for a good purpose. It doesn't contain any overdraft. It doesn't carry any balance. We all have got 86,400 seconds and time is running. If we don't utilize it, it goes off like a dust. The clock is running. We all present in this room, Toastmasters and guests, have got 86,400 seconds. Tick tock. Time is precious. Don't waste it. Take talk. Those